Ready on your mark, Weaver. Omega has already opened the portal. Hey everyone, it's an aging zombie here, seeing if I can take down the Forsaken today. So this being the last map that they added in Cold War Zombies, at least for like the main story, it's, that's my understanding. And just like pretty much all the other round based maps, you know, I've tried this multiple times, I am definitely struggling with this one. Uh, I can get the wonder weapon and once I get the wonder weapon, I just for some reason Lose it all. Um, I just am It feels like the number of zombies that spawn just like doubles and they are constantly spawning like directly behind me. I'm just Swarmed so I haven't really figured out a good way to get through this one but hopefully this time will be the time I make it through. Alright, round eight has started. Let's get out of here. Okay, so before I start the or continue on with the quest, the main quest easter egg stuff, I am going to clear up all the zombies that follow you through. Okay, I've got it down to one last zombie here. So time to move on. Oh, there's Spark. and the Forsaken belong to Mother Russia. Capturing Zykov would deliver a crushing blow. So it's interesting for this map that uh, they show where the parts are that you need. You know, normally they don't really show you. I mean, I guess sometimes they do, but for the most part, it doesn't seem like they do. The most powerful weapon of all time, and you can't think beyond destroying it. Oh, there it is. The Forsaken is the key to Soviet supremacy. He will be a great ally. So you need all those ports in order to rebuild this teleporter. That's what tickets to Kravchenko and Peck. Only problem is, it's a bit of a thick... And then before we can make it to the final kind of like area where the Easter egg officially starts, nice little mini boss. Gotcha. You really you had a chance, huh? Oh, I accidentally killed the zombie in the round. That's okay. Let's see, can I upgrade? Yes, I can. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so you make it up here. You uh, lift the lock down. Go ahead and pack and punch my weapon. And then the first part of the Easter egg... I will need dead wire, so I'll grab that. And then you come over to this button, and this officially starts the Easter egg with a nice little cutscene. Okay, so now that that cutscene's over, uh, we're gonna go over to this side over here. Okay, so over here in the arcade, you need to trigger dead wire on a zombie to get this uh, arcade cabinet up. Hey, look at that. Now, you need to interact with it, it will call in an RCXD. However, I've noticed that uh, if there's too many zombies, the RCXD explodes. Like normally it'll kill zombies, but if there's too many, it just explodes. So I'm gonna come out here and kind of work through some of these zombies so there's not that many left. And then I will uh, call in the RCXD. All right, there's only two left. I think that should be fine. Oh, or not. <laughs> Alright, let's call in another one. Oh. 
Oh, I can't drive. This isn't my fault. You get that right. I couldn't have known Zykov was the Forsaken. Now is not the time for talking. You arrogant little shit. All right, so we got that destroyed, which reveals one of the parts that we need. So we'll grab that, and then since it started a new round, I'm going to work through this round. Uh, I'm not going to do the nuke. I want all the salvage I can get. Um, so I'm going to work through this round before I go start getting the crystals for the wonder weapon. Take the token. All right, are you the last one? I think you are. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna go work on getting the crystals that will allow us to get the wonder weapon. Okay, so before I do that, I'm gonna first buy a flamethrower, because just in case I run into one of the zombies, or I guess it's one of the special zombies, um, it's the one that's red that uh, explodes on you. If you shoot it with a flamethrower, it drops a crystal. So, what probably won't happen for another round. But just in case, because sometimes doing this step here, I accidentally will trigger a new round. Well, I, I say me accidentally. It's usually the mega abomination that triggers a new round. Because you have to get him to come in here, shoot this crystal. But what ends up happening a lot of times is he shoots the crystal... <laughs> He shoots the zombie and kills the zombie, so. Oh, yes, there we go. All right. Now, don't kill the zombie. <laughs> now, I don't want to kill the zombie either. Nice, okay. Okay, so the next two crystals, I like to just get done at the same location. So the first one, now sometimes I guess if you're out here when it happens, there's a meteor that will come down and land over here. Oh, wow, this is the first time I have not had it here already. Maybe I'll actually see the crystal. Okay, so I'm gonna trigger a new round. Um, and hopefully this special zombie that I need spawns and I can use the flamethrower on it. And then maybe I finally get to see the meteor. Oh yeah, look at that. Finally get to see it. Boom. Cool. Should you want to investigate? Ooh, I think I hear it. There you are. Okay. We'll use a flamethrower on him. And there's one of the crystals. Alright, now... Ooh, perfect. Well, this is here. Okay, so... This is like a three round thing here, so you just walk over it. You don't actually have to like interact with it. But each time it'll spawn um, some type of special, so it always starts off with these plague hounds. Once you kill all the plague hounds, you walk over it again, it will trigger the tempests. And then once you kill all them, walk over again and it will spawn some mimics. Okay, so those are all the play counts. Ooh, let me go grab all this. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Walk over this again. Now we should get some Tempest to spawn. Wow. I did not mean to trigger a whole new round. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go over this. Mimics will spawn here. 
The nice thing is it's only two. And then, you know, maybe it's a good thing that I spawned a new round. Okay, so, ooh, I'll take some intel. Now to go work on getting the wonder weapon. All right, so this part was a struggle for me until I got figured out two things. One, if you upgrade, upgrade your melee weapon, you get a bowie knife instead of using the butt of your gun. And the other thing is using my Tesla storm. So I'm gonna kind of run, oh, I guess I should deposit the crystals first. So you deposit the crystals here, and then you have to get melee kills in front of it. Now what I've, the strategy I have figured out that seems to work really well is use Tesla Storm and it, cause it stuns the zombies. It also then hurts them a little bit. So you can use the knife to just finish them off. And then usually it's enough. Normally I have a decoy to kind of get a bunch of them over here really quick before I activate Tesla Storm, but I got a really nice Casimir drop. So I'm going to hold on to that. And hopefully I can just do a decent enough train here. All right, time to call it. Yeah, there we go. Got it. My God, it looks like an ancient relic from a, a long forgotten war. A weird war. Now, for some reason, now that I have this thing, it just feels like I'm constantly outflanked by zombies. And I do not understand why. Like, this thing just feels like it's so OP, but for some reason, I'm just, like, constantly getting outflanked. Uh, don't have enough to craft that. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna pack a punch this. Ooh, and I can pack a bunch too. Would you look at that? I probably should have gone and bought some perks though. Now that I think about it, perks would probably be way more beneficial. Okay, so we come in here. We're going to interact with this. Now, apparently you can do this stage earlier. Um, you don't have to wait until you get the wonder weapon, but I guess it's nice to have the wonder weapon. And I'm going to throw my... One nice, really good Casimir. Ooh, I think I got insta-kill. That's fantastic. Hopefully that helps me get through this. Because this is the part I typically always go down on. Take that nuke, yes. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm just gonna keep running around the edge. This is working really well for me right now. Oh my gosh. I actually did it. <laughs> I did it. Believe it or not, oh boy. Okay, so let me kind of regain here. Uh, get this round down to one zombie, and then I'm gonna try to work on the next piece here. Okay, so I've got it down to one zombie left for this round. So the last thing we need to do is... So you destroy that, or those orbs on this. Guess you destroy that. Grab this that comes out of here. Omega should spawn. Oh, I just saw it down here. Then apparently you throw it at it. Oh, it didn't eat it. I don't think it ate it. Didn't look like it. Alright, let's go back up there. Grab another one. He's got to eat it. Wait until he's done with his uh, attack there. There he goes. Now he ate it. 
There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna kind of thin this one out, this round out again. So one of them is all the way back out at this starting area. Oh my gosh. It doesn't give a damn about east or west. So you have two choices. Be useful and help. Or shut the fuck up. Oh, I didn't get it. I thought I'd shot it. There we go. Okay. Alright, so let's uh clean up these zombies here. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to trigger a new round. <laughs> Alright, where is the Mega? There it is over here. Come on down. Eat it. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay, so the last one is here. So, same thing. Destroy those. Oh, wow, that was really quick. That was nice. Let's transfer, transform this, do that, grab the crystal. Oh, that's right. I was like, I, I was wondering why, oh. I was wondering why I kept losing my decoys and I forgot because I have to keep throwing them at, the, at this guy. All right, and there we go. And now I'll take my decoys back. Oh, nope, Semtex, decoy. Let's pack punch two. I'm gonna put cryo freeze on because I like cryo freeze a lot. Because to my knowledge, at this point, I am ready to start the last step. So let's come down here. Let's see what type of number and type of zombies that spawn here. Oh, let's take this guy out really quick. Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> All right. Okay, so I've got everyone killed for this round. And I think I am ready. I don't really think there's really anything else unless do I want a... I think I'm going to take that instead of the flamethrower. Um, I should probably go buy perks. So I think I'm actually going to trigger one more round, uh, so that I can buy up perks. Okay, I've got it down to two zombies. I accidentally keep killing the last one or the last, like, two at the same time and triggering your new round. So I'm going to go try and buy up perks now. Might as well take this one. Uh, what is that tombstone? I don't really have a need for tombstone. I don't fully understand it in round based. I'm sure there is a very good purpose for it. I just haven't figured it out yet. And I believe the Wonder Fizz machine is in where the Dark Aether is. So I'm going to head over there to just buy up from that. Okay, I can't remember. Is it? Yes, it is. It's right here. Okay, so slide a hand not get taken down by a zombie. In fact, let me just do this. Throw that. PhD, we do death perception. Oh, that's all I can get. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much prepared, ready as I can be. So apparently you come over here. Craft. New order from the director. That's got to warm up. We should try to it. I do have just Team one zombie left. I do not want to kill it. Oh, hey, there's two zombies. 
All right, leads to point of no return. It's okay, I'm on my way. Oh no, it's out of it's out of juice. Gosh, I hope I can survive this. Oh, thank goodness I made it. Whew. Okay. I mean, I don't think I can really build anything. Oh, there's a Wonder Fizz here. Um, still can't buy anything else. This is all good, all full. Can't really increase that. Okay. So this is the furthest I've gotten. Let's hope I can actually be beat this boss. So apparently you gotta like first charge up Maxis. So you stay in this circle and just kill zombies within it. And I guess the Forsaken will do some type of attack. Yeah, that attack, and I think you just have to be behind something. Oh, okay, so she's charged up this first cannon, nice. Okay, so I think, yeah, she's got that one all charged up. So now I have to shoot at, uh, shoot at, ooh, I'll take that. So there's two armored spots. Gotta destroy the armor. Oh, okay, that one's broken, so time to move to the other shoulder. Which I probably could have shot from over there, but I'm gonna come over to this side. All right, let me switch over. I think if you get kills with this, uh, it refills the ammo. Oh, that works too. Because it just does so much more damage to his armor, it seems like. Okay, so now... You can use the cannon. Noise. Okay, so now you essentially got to repeat all those steps. Well, I'm an oh, that's right. I was like, what happened? But I think, yeah, I remember it saying there's a cutscene. Okay. Oh, boy. What is that? <laughs> Run away. Okay, come on, zombies. The 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's come under here. Oh no, 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 no. I'm stuck. Where'd Maxis go? There you are. Oh, hello. You are a dangerous one. Alright, I'm gonna come over to this turret first. Okay, so that's charged. So let me work on taking out his armor. Oh boy. Wow, that's a heavy hit. All right, let's go use this, hopefully. I just need the one laser cannon. Yeah, buddy. Well, that is fantastic to get through. Man, I sure did struggle on that map. I think initially my struggle was getting the Wonder Weapon. Having to get those melee kills before I had the Bowie Knife was a struggle. Um, so once I had the Bowie Knife and I figured out the strategy to use Tesla Storm, that became easy. Uh, but then after that, I think I just... I think I thought the Wonder Weapon was going to be a crutch or I was using it as a crutch. And so I needed to just kind of like slow back down and realize that I can't just, you know, bull in a china shop, run through things. And that really helped uh, to get me through to the boss there. So I'm really glad I was able to do that and get the boss completed. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Till the next one. Peace.